Okay, <clears throat> I filled up my wine. Nice. That's that's all the yellow jackets where they where they serve for, you know. The old the old Pope, Vieux Pape. I'm here we're reading about another Pope, it's Martin Luther, on the Jews and their lives. I tell you, it's a bunch of crap this book. Uh, it's a bunch of crap. And he even says, you know, if you might think, you know, the Jews, like he's going to tell you, the Jews are the masters of the world. Well, here it says, you know, who are the masters? Meanwhile, our princes and rulers sit there and snore with mouth hanging open and permit the Jews to take, steal and rob from their own money bags and treasures, whatever they want. So he admits, you know, there's some other power. He also admits they threw out the Jews everywhere, you know, so they're not the masters of the world, I tell you. I don't give a fuck about any Jews, any red sauce about them. But it's not, it's not our masters, it's not it's Zionism, it's just local. Wakey, wakey people, it's the aristocracy. And Luther, he was married with an aristocrat, uh, Katharina von Bora. And she was, he, he found her. He, he dug her up in a Cistercian monastery, you know, where the Templars were. The only, the only monastic order w where they could carry a sword. And guess what? In her coat of arms of her family, there's a Templar's cross and a crescent moon. You know, Templars were together with the Arab aristocracy. As today, that's why they're all here. Oh. Forget about the Jews. Stupid. Forget about the yellow jackets. They're only good for some wine, you know. You need the real... Oh, there's somebody coming here. Okay, good. So I'm here at the castle of Argimont in Belgium. I already filmed the Templars commandery. And here, the dungeon here, this part like here. It was built by the Knights Templars in the 13th century. And then the aristocracy, because they're all the same. They built the whole castle around it. Here you can see that. Le, le Chateau de Jumet. And there you can see it's the 13th century. It's always 13th century, nothing before. This is their logo. It has a um, the seal of Solomon in it. And um, I don't know what it says on top. I, I have to watch that later. Oh, there it is. Can't see it now. There's a very nice couch doing some reading about the Jews, eh? Having a wine, a very decent wine. The Belgians, they only have decent stuff, I tell you. They don't take any, you know, any less. A Merlot, a very nice wine, a very decent wine. Even got a stamp on it, or a, how you call it, a wax sort of thing. Okay, tell you some more. I'm not sure if it recorded it, so I have to do it again. Page 182, look here. Yeah. Page 180, 182 in the book. Where is it? Yeah, look. It says, uh, Thus they, the Jews, were banished from France, which they called Tsorfat from Obadiah 20, which was an especially fine nest. Very recently, they, the Jews, were banished by, by our dear Emperor Charles, eh, the aristocracy. Well, Martin Luther, he is the aristocracy from Spain, the very best nest of all, which they called Sepharad, the Sephardic Jews. Well, and this year they were expelled from Bohemian, Crownland, Prague, Regensburg, Magdeburg and all other places. So what does it mean? If they, the Jews are being kicked out all over, that means they're not the one in charge. He's in charge. Look at his aristocratic face. Look at his eyes. You know the place he's got between his skull and his eyes. It's typical. And the long nose, it's pharaonic. And here it says, uh, children have been Ah, oh, where is it? Kidnapping of children. The Jews, they kidnap children. Here, Jew. It's not true. It's a lie. Who's kidnapping children? The aristocracy, the pharaoh. I'm right near, next to it, where Dutrou, where the castle is. I'm here in Belgium. I'm here where they did it. It was all in castles. It, was, it went all the way up to the Belgian king. 
There's no Jew inside, just like the First World War financing. No Jews. Now wake up, people. They're lying. The aristocracy have always been in power. Yeah, you see, I'm in Belgium here. What's that? Liège. Lutech. They've always been in power, people. Come on, wake up. Hey, don't, don't believe Palestinian lies. Don't believe those aristocratic lies. And the Palestinian lies is from the Caliph. They also have the aristocracy, they're a bunch of liars. I mean, I'm not, I don't give a rat's ass about any Jews. They don't care about me either. They would never help me, you know? But it's not the enemy. Um, if you don't like him, it doesn't mean they are the ones in power, you know? And he, he definitely says it here. He says it. Come on. He says it. Martin Luther. I, I could tell you so many more things, you know, what I found in the book here. And I do a nice film about it. But look at that. I'm a homeless. Look at that. Look. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I have a couch now. I'll sit down for a while. And rest my old bones. Fantastic castle, yeah. Crown SV. SV, c'est pourquoi ça? S SV. SV où ça? Oui, ça. Euh, là haut euh, sur le, le, le truc là, euh, sur le tour. Hein. Ah donc ça c'est le c'est le comment vais-je dire c'est le comment le c'est le, 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 le allez comment c'est la signature du propriétaire actuel. Ah ok. okay SV okay. donc euh, voilà. Hein, yeah. euh, ouais, ouais. And here you can see the grain ah. everywhere. It means our blood is here, our descendants are here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, the grain. Il a aussi le patrimoine protégé de Wallonie. Oui. Right. Donc il est classé. Mais en fait, ça, ça se fera maçonnique aussi, hein, parce que le coq, ça représente euh, en russe. Ah oui, oui, oui. Ah oui. Donc, part de la Templar's <laughs> Commandery ici. Je vais voir si je peux. Malheureusement, je ne peux pas rentrer, mais je suis heureux d'avoir filmé ça ici. Magnificent. Private property in the land of Dutrou. Like being at home, eh? <laughs> so I tell you what it's all about, you know. The Jews didn't want to pay any more taxes, you know. How stubborn they are, especially the Orthodox. Well, anybody can be stubborn, you know. I've got no problem with it, but they're very, very stubborn, you know. They don't accept anything else than, you know, their prayers and... Uh, they doesn't certainly don't ex you know, uh, except this here, like a, a nation or a country or, you know, the king. So, and Martin Luther, he was very, very, he was a fan of Bernard de Clairvaux, born in a castle himself in Burgundy. I went to the monastery, I showed it to you, two of his monasteries, the Knights, he was the guy who invited all the Knights Templars, it all started there. I tell you, Martin Luther, because the French king, the old world order, the vertical rule, he was traditionally uh, together with the, the uh, Catholic religion, the Vatican and the Pope. So in order to attack, attack the king, you know, and the old world order, to put in, pla in place the revolutionary new um, New World Order and the Republican system with the Senate and, you know, the horizontal rule. There was a way to attack the king, the French king, to attack the Catholic system with Protestant system. This is what happened. It was all like two world wars. It was just a, a, a battle for the New World Order to be in place. And I tell you, the third, the 30 year war was even worse, especially for the Jerry's. Eh? They murdered the Swiss mercenaries. They murdered about... 20 million crowds who got saved by the Dutch finally because their ships they sank all the the armadas uh, and their gold um, the Portuguese and Spanish so they you know the, the mercenaries the mercs couldn't be paid anymore oh look at that oh hey, it's even here you know there's a circle here which is the for the uh, the compass and there's a lot of squares here you know for the uh, for the square don't you think uh, they don't think about this? I eh? and there is the four. There are four parts in it for the concept of four as well, and the circle is the concept of three. A masters. 
I, I would do a really good film about it, about Martin Luther. But I'm a homeless, as you can see. I'm very tired. I don't have a place to do it. There's no solidarity, really. I can't have a bank account because I don't have a place to live. It's absolutely, it's all tits up, you know, I tell you. But Martin Luther, he was a New World Order guy and a Templar. And a, he was an aristocrat, you know, his wife too. He was all the time in castles with lords. I can give you the names. You can find it up yourself. All wars. All wars, I tell you, all wars! It's about the new world order fighting the old world order, I tell you! Two world wars, the 30 year war, Martin Luther, all of it! So wake up now! Don't, and it's still the same thing, the Jews didn't want to pay taxes, the yellow jackets, the taxes are too high, people up, there's a lot of poverty. It's still the same thing. It's still nothing has changed. It's still the king of Belgium raping our children, murdering them in, in castles and all that. Come on, people. I'm tired. So here you can see the concept of three here. One, two, three. And there's one here, which is apart from it, which is the concept of four. All together is four. This is us. It's down the people and that's them. The side of the, uh, the pyramid. Many of them are broken, I suppose. Here, it's almost broken here. It's nothing without a reason. The Grail, our blood is here. Uh. So it also means that Martin Luther, when he was fighting Catholicism and the Pope, he was fighting the old world order. Because the, the Pope was together with the King. It's all the old world's order. And his wife was in a Cistercian order, an aristocrat with a Templar coat of arms in her in their coat of arms of the of their royal house, uh, Katharina von Bora von. It's all aristocrat German, and he knew he was a f real fan of Bernard de Clairvaux, the guy who invited the Templars. So this means Martin Luther. He was a New World Order guy. Attacking the Jews and the old world order, the king, the, the pope, for only one reason, to put in place the new world order, so he was a Freemason. I have no doubt about it at all, as I already know that all wars, there are wars, all these big wars, there are wars for the new world order and to cut, to, to, to cut down the old world order, the vertical rule. So see my film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. I would really do, I'm, I'm like improvising, you know, I could do it much, much, much better, but I need help. I'm outside, I'm, I'm bloody tired, I'm worn out. I, I don't know anymore if my head is on my butt or I don't know why, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm knackered. So, it's all about Freemasonry anyway. So this means if this Freemason Templar aristocrat Martin Luther attacking the Jews it means the Jews are not the Freemasons but they might be you know if they are like aristocratic because from the the, the line of kings like Solomon or David or uh, Rothschild Baron you know they're, they're also pharaohs it's all about pharaohs you know this guy would never have so much power Martin Luther just like being a simple priest for God's sake you know, if he was not backed up by the aristocracy and Pharaoh and the ones in power, and he was, he was all the time in castles, he even married an aristocrat, aristocratic woman, as he was an aristocrat himself. Because the second, third and fourth sons, they went into the orders, monastic orders, like him. So wake up, yellow jackets, and you know, I've got a nice flag here, what is it? Hello? You know, it's all about taxes, aristocracy, parasiting on his new system. Bunch of pharaonic liars. So somebody help me and I'll do a lot of work for you. If not, I'm going to die with it. And you're not going to hear it, right? Just an old dumbass yellow jackets. So all over the book he says that the Jews they're parasiting on us through usury and all that. 
Um, but if he is into like people or races parasiting on us, well, why doesn't Martin Luther tell us about the aristocracy parasiting on us, eh? You liar, you Martin Luther, you bloody liar you are, you're a pharaoh. You, you, you're not telling us about the real parasites, eh? Who invented the taxes and all that that the Jews didn't want to pay? You liar, I tell you. You're just a bloody liar, Martin Luther. You're a bloody pharaoh. And look here. This is all this guy Tex Mars here. It's only about, you know, the Jews, the Jews, just like Dr. Dr. Duke. A Duke, yes, a Duke, yeah. David Duke, yeah, Zion. Uh, the synagogue of Satan. It's all, you know, this guy here, Tex Mars. A pharaoh, uh, no doubt at all. All pharaohs, you know. They don't like people who believe in something else here. You can see even the customer service power of prophecy oh come on get out of here yeah. look at this filthy head he is eh? what a bunch of pharaonic filth you Martin Luther you liar okay you tell me about that the Jews are parasiting on us but then you also have to tell us that the, the aristocracy are even more and more parasiting on us I don't even believe you that the Jews are parasiting on us and then here and was a page two, 211 he says you know that the Jews are bad because they they only believe in one God like the Arabs like uh, the, the the Christians they believe in three gods was, yeah it says here neither Jew nor devil will in any way be able to prove that our belief Christian said by a pharaoh that the one eternal Godhead is composed of three persons he must be schizophrenic implies that we believe in one in more than one God that's Isis Horus and Seth bloke that's all pharaonic so he says that God has a he has a son Jesus God he has even a mother Mary he says it here eh? So if the Jews maintain that they cannot understand how three persons can be one God, why then must their blasphemous, accursed, lying mouth deny, condemn and curse what it does not understand? It's all pharaonic. This bloke is a bloody pharaoh, an aristocrat. You know? So he wants to tell us that God has a son and a mother. Yeah, come on. There's Isis, Horus and Seth. Have you got any more fairy tales? God has a mother. Come on. So, hey, Swissy. Uh, Swissy is here. That's because of the Templars. This was, you know, there's a later date here, but it was originally the Knights Templars here. And here you can see the, like, two pharaonic dogs here. Typical pharaonic with those long ears. There's the, the ball for the world domination starting to rain uh, private property okay I respect it for once so it's the other side there's probably a lot more to say it's in private property now apparently it was caught it was bought by a guy called Bloom a Dutch what does it say here I don't know magnificent our masters so the only thing I agree with, you know, he talks about the circumcision a lot. That the Jews or the rabbis, they said only a person who's circumcised, he's a real human being. The rest are just goy and animals. So I agree with this, with Martin Luther only about this, you know. Because of course, you know, see my film about the circumcision and the alliance with Seth or Seth on. Because if you mutilate God's creation you know you make an alliance with the devil a circumcision and Pharaoh he only circumcised his slaves he didn't circumcise himself but of course Martin Luther being a Pharaoh himself he knows it all and he knows the Europeans they don't like to to cut their dicks you know 
so this is why he says it like this and uh, oh yeah circumcision oh I'm getting really pissed here eh? no more wine for the yellow jackets Oy. so this is the wife of Martin Luther Katharina von Bora there she is it's all nobility eh? yeah it says Saxon pity nobility and she was in a Cistercian monastery they were the guys they were the Templars Cistercians when they were still monks and she uh, here this is the um, the royal house of her mother this is their coat of arms and this is from her mother's side, this one here. You see the Templar's cross and the crescent moon. Oh, there we go. You see? Templars all over, Cistercians. And then Martin Luther, he was completely a fan of Bernard of Clairvaux. The guy who invented the Knights Templars. Hey, it's Templars all over, the Reformation, the Protestant movement. It's a Templar movement to attack the king. I'm very sorry, I could do a lot better, but I don't have a home, so I have to just film the screen. I hope you can hear me, because I'm sitting in a library. So I'm just staying in the car. Uh, here you see a pyramid, Pharaoh. See here? It's all Pharaoh. Pharaoh and Swissy.